What up fam? Today I'm going to show you how to ring in the new year in the most dangerous and badass way possible by opening a champagne bottle with a sword. Stay tuned. The art of sabrage or sabering was said to come about during the Napoleonic Wars. It seemed cavalry men who were given bottles of champagne and wanted to drink on the go found it hard to uncage and decork a bottle while on horseback. Story has it that eventually one of these cavalry men decided to just try to lop the head off of their bottle with their saber. He was in fact successful and because of how undeniably badass that is, the art of sabrage was born. That being said, once you realize you can open a bottle via weapon, why wouldn't you? Honestly, why wouldn't you open everything via weapon if you could? And as cool and suave as this is gonna look, the technique is actually really simple to do. First things first, this is only gonna work in a bottle that has a lot of pressure in it, so like a champagne or a Prosecco, something with bubbles. Champagne, in fact, is about 90 pounds of pressure behind this cork, which is about three times more than it's in your car tire. Which brings me to my first safety point, always make sure that the cork is facing away from you. As we know, sometimes we get excited and move around, and sometimes that premature decorking can happen. Nobody wants a premature decorking. Nobody. But in all seriousness, as we go forward into the actual sabering of the bottle, make sure you're extremely careful. Always point it away from you and away from everybody else, and don't do it near like breakable objects or anything. A projectile with 90 pounds of pressure behind it and glass shards really isn't something you want to mess around with too much. Also, as a safety note, you're going to want to make sure that the bottle is chilled. Chilling the bottle actually brings that pressure down just a little bit and makes the glass more brittle. With the bottle either room temperature or warm, you're dealing with the highest amount of pressure and greater odds that the actual bottle itself is just gonna shatter rather than break cleanly where you want it. Now the temperature we're shooting for is between like 37 and 48-ish degrees, I believe, uh, which can be reached by just leaving it in your refrigerator for about three hours before you decide to try this thing or leaving it upside down in a bucket of ice for about an hour beforehand. So as I said, there's a great amount of pressure in this bottle and most of it is gonna be concentrated right up here at the top. Now all these bottles have a seam that run up either side and converge at that top ring of the neck. Where those converge is the weak point that we're gonna capitalize on. That's where we wanna aim our saber to weaken the glass just enough that the pressure does the rest of the job for us, ending in a clean break. So once the bottle is chilled, we wanna get it naked. We wanna remove all of this foil from it. With that foil gone, we now have a nice clear runway. Next, we need to remove the cage around the cork. But be careful, because that's the only thing that's really keeping that cork from being able to just explode out. So again, make sure it's always facing away from you, and once the cage is removed, just keep your thumb on top of that cork to control it so it doesn't go until you're ready for it to. So we're gonna wanna hold it at the very bottom or the thickest part of the bottle. This is gonna keep our hands clear of the blade, and also if the bottle does break, the odds are that thicker part will stay intact. Okay, so now with one of the seams facing up, hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle and position your sword right on top of it. Then just tilt your blade up a little bit so you've got just the edge of it riding along the neck of the bottle. Now in one fluid motion, swing all the way through. Don't stop once it hits that lip of the bottle. You want it to continue all the way through. Then once you're ready to go, in one fluid motion, And you can't tell me that wasn't cool. And all that pressure carried away any broken glass and the cork and everything, so it's ready to pour. That was awesome. <laughs> and check out how nice and clean that break is, right along that top ring. Though traditionally done with a saber, I've seen people do it with butter knives and spoons or whatever. But you know, if you have a sword, that's definitely the cooler way to do it, right? I mean, come on. Ultimately, you just need something with a hard and rigid edge, and it kind of helps if it has a little bit of weight to it as well. Now, of course, even if you've chilled it and done everything right, things can go wrong. So ready? Let's give this thing a shot. That one didn't work so well. That one, that one got me real good. So I can't emphasize this enough. If you do decide to try this, please be careful. So there you have it. Now you can ring in the New Year's with a little bit of extra class and style. Again, just make sure if you do try this, you're extra careful because broken glass and pressure and everything we talked about before. I hope you have a safe and happy new year, and in the meantime, keep leveling up, you.